With the rapid advancement of technology, full-frame cameras have become a viable option for those seeking to combine excellent image quality with cost-effective options. We're going to recommend 5 reasonably priced cameras in this video that you can buy without going over budget. Even though it's been out for a few years, the Sony a7 II is still useful and not going out of style. As the most reasonably priced prior generation, full-frame camera that Sony offers, it actually has regained significance, surpassing even the early Sony a7. It performs better than the original a7 in a number of areas, especially because of the integrated stabilizing mechanism. It's interesting to note that even with a bigger sensor and in-body stabilization IBIS, the pricing is currently lower than that of several Sony APS-C mirrorless models. Some people, though, might think the modifications are only slight. This is due to the fact that the sensor is the same 24MP Exmor CMOS technology that was used in the original A7 model, just like the majority of the new camera's components. Additionally, Sony integrated several video features from the A7S into the A7 II. For example, it can now record in ABC HD, M4, or Zafg S codecs. With picture profiles installed, users can change the gamma to Sony's S Log 2 for reduced contrast and enhanced dynamic range. The time code function also helps with scene recognition and synchronization video from several cameras. One of the tiniest and lightest full-frame cameras on the market right now is the Canon EOS RP. It is also the most reasonably priced full-frame camera that has ever been released. The Digic 8 CPU powers the EOS RP, and its 26.2MP sensor is a close match to that of the EOS 6D Mark II. It's the same sensor at its heart, but it's been tuned to work in a mirrorless system and adjust to the different flange back distance of the RF mount. The EOS RP has a disadvantage even though it can shoot in 4K at up to 25 frames per second. There is a 1.76 crop applied when shooting in this mode, and dual pixel CMOS AF is not available. However, it enables 50 frames per second without cropping in 1080p mode and has dual pixel focusing. The RP isn't designed for lightning fast performance in terms of speed. It provides a 4fps servo AF burst mode and a 5fps one-shot mode. This is an extremely high level of performance for a camera that isn't made for action-packed sports photography. The Nikon Z5 is an entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera that shares many physical and functional characteristics with its more sophisticated Z-mount predecessors. It is based on a stabilized 24MP CMOS sensor without backside illumination BSI, technology, in contrast to the Z6 newer BSI sensor, it appears to be more closely related to the chip generation found in Nikon's D750 DSLR. The Z5 and Z6 share the same X6 processor, 273-point hybrid autofocus system and 3, 69 million dot OLED viewfinder. But several improvements are absent such as a display on the top plate. The Z5's maximum burst rate 4.5 FPS versus 12 FPS for bursts and video capabilities a cropped 4K mode versus an uncropped, oversampled 4K option are also noticeably inferior to those of the Z6. The image quality and handling of the Z5 and Z6 are remarkably similar, despite these differences. Although the Z5 may not bring about revolutionary technological developments, it transcends cost limitations and shows itself to be an incredibly competent and well-made camera that offers a pleasurable experience for the user. The Canon EOS R is notable for being the first full-frame mirrorless camera to use the cutting-edge RF mount. Its focal point is the 30-megapixel dual-pixel CMOS sensor, which is the same sensor used in the 2016 OS 5D Mark IV. It is, nevertheless, designed to function best with the latest RF lens series. 
The 30MP sensor does well in low light and offers a remarkable dynamic range. With dual pixel focusing, it takes films in 4K resolution and creates visually appealing JPEG photos. External HDMI video recording supports logging and 10-bit color. In the video domain, the 4K high bitrate footage exhibits remarkable color accuracy, but it suffers from a perceptible crop factor and a somewhat reduced detail capture. Being Canon's first attempt at mirrorless full-frame cameras, it does have certain drawbacks. There are options with stronger video capabilities, more dynamic range, and higher burst speeds at a similar or even lower price point, and the ergonomics feel lacking. Still, it's critical to recognize the outstanding caliber of Canon's latest RF lenses. As of right now, the EOS R is the only way to use these lenses. Lastly, the Panasonic Lumix S5 is an extremely adaptable camera that will appeal to both filmmakers and photographers. It has improvements to the DFD autofocus system and, in spite of its small form factor, a 24MP CMOS sensor similar to the Lumix zone, but with better autofocus powers. Its remarkable dynamic range, 4K video recording capability, and 96MP high-resolution RAW plus JPEG image capture feature cement its standing as one of the top contenders in its class. This camera is very appealing to videographers because of its many excellent features, which include uncropped 4K-30P shooting, V-Log support, time-lapse capabilities, compatibility with anamorphic 4K recording, and more. Although it isn't freeze-resistant, the Lumix S5 is resistant to dust and water. It has many ports, one of which is the adaptable USB Type-C port, which can be used to power the camera while it is filming or to enable camera tethering for use as a webcam. To sum up, the Panasonic Lumix S5 boasts a full-frame sensor, an ergonomic body design, and exceptional video capabilities, making it a feature-rich camera that appeals to a wide variety of consumers with varying interests in photography and videography. So, this was our list of 5 affordable full-frame mirrorless cameras that you should definitely consider. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.